Robin Thicke is a soul man for the new millennium. He's a husband, a father, a man of faith. When other singers are trying to use their gifts and talents to woo the right woman, he's already man to his perfect lady. He uses his voice to sing beautiful love songs to her and to other couples out there who aren't ashamed to celebrate love. Even when there's not always harmony, Robin Thicke is willing to hold out and hold on because he knows the blessing of love even after war. Welcome to Lift Every Voice. I'm your host, Corey Condry. With me today, the amazing Robin Thicke. How are Thank you, you very much. Good, Good to, to be here, you. sir. Thanks for having me. Yeah, you know, I, 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 I don't know if they come to watch today because of the Lord or because of you. Oh, well, <laughs> the Lord is always watching. <laughs> your music is based upon love. Yes. You know, and when you think of love, you think of Christ, you think of the Lord himself. Yes. Uh, How's it been singing love music? Actually, the first songs I ever learned to play on piano were uh, gospel songs, mm -hmm. were uh, commission songs. Mm -hmm. uh, I, was, I was about 11 years old and uh, somehow I had uh, come across Take Six and, uh, and um, Commissioned and John P. Key and people like that. And uh, those voices, uh, because they were singing about something, a different kind of love, not mm -hmm. just a sensual love, but yeah. a spiritual love. Uh, those were the singers that uh, inspired me to uh, to try to take my my music to the next level. So there's always something um, spiritual in my music, um, whether or not you know I, I make it. Uh, I let everybody know I'm talking about it. Somehow, you know, my conversations with God is it always ends up in my music. Mm -hmm. What what does that conversation sound like? Oh, it sounds like what am I supposed to do next? Lord, help me, please. <laughs> Um, really, I think uh, gratitude, mm -hmm. you know, is the hardest thing that we all have to remind ourselves. Getting up in the morning and not remembering what God hasn't done for you or hasn't given you or hasn't shed light on you in certain ways, but uh, just knowing that, uh, that this world uh, has plenty to be grateful for and your life, um, although it doesn't seem like it sometimes, you know, we all have to be thankful for the people in our lives that, that, um, that do love us as opposed to the people that don't. So I try to focus on my wife and my child, my parents, my friends, the people that give me love. And I use that like fuel to my spiritual fire, you know, to get through the day. How do you balance that considering you're always on the road and then it's you have very a beautiful difficult. family at home? It's very difficult. And uh, like last night, you know, put on a performance and then I go back to the hotel and I'm all by myself and there's nobody to hug. and get all excited about, uh, you know, after giving all that energy performing. And most of the days I roll out of bed, and, and even before I roll out of bed, I say, thank you, God, for my life. Thank you, God, for my wife. Thank you for my child. And I think if we start the day saying thank you, uh, it, it, we'd be, we're very surprised sometimes how much better the day goes. You yeah. Know? You know, you, you look at your life, you're like this, this person that everybody looks at and the ladies just go crazy over. At one point in your life, you were single. <laughs> now you're married. Yes. Now you have a child. Yes. How would life be without them? Oh, I, I don't know. I probably would be in jail within a few weeks. <laughs> but that's what the people that you love, that love you and that you love do for you. They keep you grounded. Mm -hmm. You know, they keep your, uh, your feet on the ground and your, uh, and your, you know, your head to the sky, you know, and, and I think that for me, um, uh, I don't know who I would be without my wife. I mean, she's my muse, my best friend, my uh, creative partner. And my, my child now is the best thing that ever happened to me. I don't know, um, you know, I don't know what I would do if anything happened to him, God forbid. You know, who we are every five or 10 years, we all change mm -hmm. so much, you know. We might not know it, but life experiences and things, you know, we change as people. And, mm -hmm. and I think if you have somebody that you can truly grow with mm -hmm. and change with, and then uh, there's nothing more special than that. Let's talk about some of these changes. I had the opportunity to ask Robin. I said, man, what is that moment in your life where you just got hit and you knew that you needed the Lord? When we come right back, we'll talk about those moments. Yes. On Lift Every Voice. You know, as a human being, I, I would love to to be steady, but as an artist, that just there's nothing, nothing interesting would happen if I was comfortable. Yeah. 